Hi guys, we're doing a nice little bait demo again today and it's a nice little bait which I developed a while ago and it's called the Spanish Choco Dancer. When I've done the bait you'll understand why I call it. It's a very maneuverable bait, it works on the water, it's got little feelers moving and it looks like a Spanish dance under the water. It is a white choco bait which I like to use in the reefs but, um, due to the fact that we're building it with nice little feelers and movement this bait actually floats and drifts in the water and it's a busy bait and it attracts the attention of the fish. I'm also going to use our essential dingle dangles on this bait. They're very nice to build the bait around, they're easy to work with and it's easy to use when you're fishing with a circle hook. Alright, so let's take one of these essentials out. And we can start doing our bait. Alright, so what we've got here is we've got a piece of chocker, just a square block, approximately four centimeters by six or seven centimeters. Obviously, you can vary the size according to how big you want to make this bait. And another little narrow strip as long as your dingle dangle. This little strip is going to cover the dingle and that's going to add onto the bait. Right, so let's start off by just smacking this piece with a chocker hammer and getting nice and soft so we can put it around our dingle. Right, that'll do it. So we take our dingle, place a piece of chocker onto it, shape it with our fingers, and cotton it on. Right, so that's cottoned on. Finish of half inch. As you can say, you got chocker on the one end, and it doesn't matter if the foam sticks out a bit or the essential dingle dangle sticks out a bit, because we're going to put this piece of chocker on top of that. Right, the next step is to prepare the next piece. We take our chocker hammer, just heat it slightly on the edges to soften it up. And that'll do. Now we're going to take our knife and just make a whole bunch of little cutlets or little feelers in this bait. And there we go. So we've got all these little feelers. We're going to move in the water. Give our bait a bit of action. Next step is to take our dingle, place this chocker on top of it. I'm going to cotton this on in between the feelers. I don't want to restrict the movement of these feelers.
we break our cotton off. All right, so there's our little bait done with all these little feelers. It's going to work around the water and make this look like a little Spanish dancer. The water and the waves are going to give it a nice action and the feelers are going to move. So it's going to attract your fish and hopefully you're going to catch a nice big fish on this. So that's a very nice little attractive interesting bait. So after we've made this bait, I just want to add our hook onto it. So we take our circle hook, put it through the top of the dingle. And there's our little bait, ready to catch a fish.